Okay, so Branch actually has a very kindly agreed to chat to us. He's got a massive queue over there. And I'm just wondering, Branch, can you tell us what's next for you? Some time off. So, uh, you know, I um, haven't had much for the past several years. I've just gone nonstop. You know, our old Olympia, a lot of shows in between, you know, and um, so I just want to take a break. You know, I did uh, compete at the Arnold a couple weeks ago. I competed in Europe the week before that. So um, I only had about a month off from the Olympia last year before I began training for these shows. So uh, that's why I'm not doing Australia this weekend. I'm going to take a little time off and uh, got a lot of travel to do, a lot of appearances to do. And um, I'll uh, make the decision what I'm going to do my next competition here in a you know, few, few weeks. Now, um, you're in Australia at the moment and you're visiting a lot of different nations. Can you tell me what your favorite thing is about Australia? The people. Yeah, definitely. The people are so warm and welcoming. Uh, reminds me of Texas, where I'm from. You know, and uh, they, uh, there's a lot of talent down here. The girls are very pretty. And uh, the food is great, and uh, it's very nice. When I stepped off the plane, it wasn't winter time; it was nice and warm. So that was a bonus. <laughs> now, Branch, your training and philosophy, and, and what you you do to train, is that hard to adapt a little bit over time? Because I actually got a little bit concerned when I was watching Generation Aaron, and you you famously got thrown off a horse. Did, did you have any lasting injuries from that? No, you know, it's uh, that probably wasn't the wasn't the first time I've been thrown. Probably won't be the last. I've grown up with horses and. Anybody that has horses know sometimes they act up. So uh, it's a thousand pounds of muscle and a brain the size of a walnut. So, uh, but um, I've been, you know, I've been hurt over the years, you know, but I've never been hurt in the gym. All my injuries have occurred doing stuff outside the gym, you know. So uh, as far as my training, I, your training changes a little bit over time. You know, as you get older, you maybe uh, you don't do some of the things you did when you're younger. But uh, pretty much, I've stuck to the same philosophy. You know, high intensity and heavy weight. What, what motivates you the most? Do you, do you feel like you go out there and you surprise a lot of people by just how passionate you are and, and just how successful you are? Well, it's just hard work. I mean, that's, a, that's all it is. You know, I've had a lot of things happen, injuries and setbacks, but, you know, when something bad happens, you have two options. You quit or you overcome it. That's, you know, so, so you, what are you going to do? So um, I've just, you know, through hard work, I've been able to overcome and uh, most of the things have come my way and had a great career. You know, I've been pro for 15 years and... Uh, been a, it's been a great ride so great ride i like that pun what's your favorite motto or philosophy that you'd give to people out there that are just starting out and they're aspiring to have as long a career and as long a successful career as you it's a marathon it's not a sprint you know uh, you know to, to get pro it takes years and uh, once you are pro it's probably going to take you years to get up on top and if you're one of the ones that's blessed enough to to get up there and uh be consistent be consistent with your training your nutrition you know, and, and have some balance in your life. You know, that this sport will eat you up if you don't have some balance. You have to have something that you do to, you know, get away from it. And, uh, you know, family, hobbies, you know, something outside of uh, working and training and eating chicken. What's, what's, what's your number one sort of vice or thing that you do to get away from it to keep balance in your life besides riding horses in Texas? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a country boy, so uh, I grew up, you know, doing riding horses and doing outdoor stuff, you know. Anything outdoors, I love to do, and it, that gets me away from all this. And, uh, you know, after a week or two of it, then I'm usually ready to come back and start banging weight in the gym again. Now, I am a, a fan of yours, and I would really like it, and I'm sure lots of people out there, your fans, would like it, if you were able to strike your favorite pose for, for us. Would that be possible? Could you do that for us? We could do that. I just wanted to say thanks so much for chatting to us. Oh, thank you. And uh, I'll see you on stage at Olympia this year in Vegas.